Some people in Fortnite are very lucky. I, on the other hand, have games where I get sniped out of the sky before I even get a chance to land. Imagine this. You're 30 HP, two players remaining, thousands of dollars on the line. All of your time pranking has led up to this moment. Will you survive? Stick around to find out what happens. And if you subscribe right now, I'll let you borrow the leprechaun I may or may not be holding captive in my basement for good luck. <laughs> Number 15. Shooting people out of a helicopter is one of the most satisfying things to do this season in Fortnite, especially when the choppa is filled entirely with the final squad. In a 1v4 situation, this quick thinker decided to take out the helicopter campers and make sure the job was finished. Yep, they even had crash pads ready for when they'd nope. inevitably get shot down. Although these campers weren't exactly prepared for someone shooting out the crash pads now, were they? Next time, they probably shouldn't rely on a single pad to save all four of them. What a hilarious way to win a match. Number 14, the Crash Pad Kingsman Clutch. On the topic of crash pads, this next player combines the two latest items. Using the Kingsman umbrella and crash pads, they make their way across the beach after their teammate ends up in a tricky situation. There's nothing quite like racing to save the day. Check this out. Thank you. Imagine seeing this from his teammate's perspective where you're facing a gun barrel pointing right at you, waiting to be eliminated, and suddenly your teammate swoops in like Batman. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, because I'm Batman, and saves your life. What a clutch. Number 13. Don't even think about shooting at my chopper. We saw a clutch where a squad couldn't use their crash pad in time. But what if we flipped that on its head and had a moment where a skilled player, well, took that idea and ran with it? Well, that's exactly what happened when Ray Good received a few shots to his helicopter. So he did the only logical thing you can think of and literally dived out of it towards the enemy. Turn this up. He even hit the no scope on that. Pretty much just the cherry on top. And of course he does the scooting emote because why not? Number 12, three eliminations for the team clutch with the Kingsman. Season 2 is full of all kinds of ways to eliminate your enemies at this point. We've gone from a bland season to a unique one pretty quickly, especially with the new Kingsman umbrella. If you remember in Season 1 when people were having lightsaber battles in the middle of matches, well, this might seem all too familiar to you. It took us two swings to take out an entire trio of people. He took all three of them on and still won. Honestly, I wish I had the confidence to face squads like this. Fair play. Number 11, Choppa Drop. It seems that choppas are being used in more ways than we originally thought this season. While some people like to die from their helicopters or go in for a blade elimination, it looks like this duo had a more explosive strategy in mind. I can see him on the roof. Instead of taking them out normally, it seems they preferred to destroy the entire platform the enemy was standing on. So naturally, they fell down and were taken out by fall damage. And yeah, I can't argue with that. It was a risky clutch considering how wrong it could have gone, like blowing themselves up or falling off the helicopter, but it worked like a charm, so props to them. Number 10, the 200 IQ clutch. So now we're going from small strategies giving out wins to just straight up skill being at play here. When Justin Lee 15 was the only one left and had to face another squad after the final circle had finished, it seemed all but hopeless. But that's when he pulls out some of the most 200 IQ tactics I've seen in a while. Check out how clutch this clip is. Granted, some of it was down to luck, but the speed he has when using the bandage bazooka and the plays in blocking off the other teammates are just phenomenal. When luck and skill combine, you get beautiful plays like this one, and we have way more just like this to show you. Number nine, a crazy play. When you're pinned down by a sniper in Fortnite, it's not fun especially when it's some dude camping in a box on a hill. But there's always a way to fight back, whether it's trying to shoot them first or putting matters into your own hands. 
it's always fun to head over there and show them who's boss. And that's exactly what Samatari did. After realizing he only had one enemy left for the victory royale, he became pinned down and opted to go for a more hands-on approach. Sure, this isn't some kind of trick shot, but to survive that entire journey without getting shot by the sniper is pretty lucky. And number eight, bouncing your enemies into the storm. It used to be the meta where pro players would save up a ton of shockwave grenades in preparation for the final circle. Then when it came, they tried their hardest to blow all of their enemies into the storm and get an easy win. Now, we haven't seen this strike come back for a while until this season gave us the crash pads. Now, we have plays which somehow feel more impressive than the shockwave ones. Take a look. The guy tries to get back to safety twice and every single time he just gets thrown straight back into the storm. You gotta at least give the guy a chance. Number 7. Surviving the minigun sprints. There are only a few things better than being the only one left in squads and then just taking out an entire squad like it's nothing. And that's why clutches like this next moment are just so entertaining to watch. Being on the brink of elimination and yet coming out on top is probably the most satisfying thing to do in Fortnite. So seeing this next clutch really hypes me up. He pops two guys like it's nothing and then just takes bullets raining from above and just blocks them with a wall. Is this guy Captain America or something? This guy tricks the minigun enemy into falling down to the floor and then takes him out in a single shot. What an absolutely incredible clutch. Definitely well deserving of that win. Number six, this was super close. When even your own teammate doubts that you could pull off a clutch, it can be quite demotivating. But Supreme Salim didn't take it to heart and instead pushed on and fought against the remaining two duos. Oh! <laughs> yeah! What? Yeah! what? I just... I mean, did you see just how close he was to losing this? That, that final sniper shot had to be perfect because he was milliseconds away from being blown up by that RPG on 30 health, no less. Although I think the fact that the final moments of this match were an RPG battle says a lot about the meta right now. But I bet his teammate won't be doubting him anymore. That's for sure. Number five. 6 HP in a dream. The best clutches are those done on a tiny amount of health. And when this next player was taken all the way down to 6 HP and ended up being the only one left on his team, he chose to not give up. Spotting minis in the storm, he went to risk it all. Then he had unfinished business to attend to and went off to deal with the last enemy. The enemy above fired so many rockets and didn't hit him once. But all he had to do was fire a single shot and get an easy victory. What a clutch. And none of this would have happened if he had touched that storm for a second or two when grabbing the minis. I think it's safe to say that the Fortnite gods are on his side today. Number four, Deadpool. Being pinned down by a sniper is one thing, but being pinned down by someone with a minigun is another. When Crypto196 was on low health as Deadpool and taking fire from an enemy with a minigun, he assumed he was done for. But he waited to see if he could defend himself long enough to get an opening shot and the gamble paid off. All it took was one clean sniper shot to do the job and he did it perfectly against all odds and as deadpool no less which let's be honest all us bad players use number three he really clutched this one up for the team while this next player's team was out there getting slaughtered by a squad of enemies dean 616 took it upon himself to do their jobs for them with only an inventory full of green items it's hard to see how he'd pull off a clutch but trust me it's extremely impressive
That snipe at the end was so clean. I guess his skill helped him, but aim assist played a big part too. So whether you want to call this clutch lucky or skill is entirely up to you. Let us know in the comment section below, but get ready, brace yourself, because number two is a three-piece for the win in a tournament. Just to show you how ridiculous the RPG has actually become in Season 2. Its next clutch pretty much entirely relies on the rocket launcher. Of course, we're not saying vaulted, epic, but at least do something! What, what is going on? Keep spamming RPGs. Less, oh my god. Keep going, keep going. Two left, two left. Nice. There's two, there's two of them. 1v1 actually, 1v1. The best part about this clutch is that it was actually pulled off in a duo cash cup, so each elimination in this clip was worth points, which ultimately got the team closer and closer to some prize money. Unfortunately, they said they placed just outside any spots with prizes, but this clutch definitely gave them a confidence to win the next cash cups. And it's your number one spot. An insane end game clutch. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you use the code T5G. Let's get into this. Let's do this. Now we have got one of the most insane clutches I have seen this entire season, if not the entirety of chapter two. All right, maybe maybe not the entirety of chapter two. I mean, not to brag or anything, but I, I have I have one squad win. <laughs> when Hyphy found himself to be the only one left against three other teams of duos, he could have just hidden from them, but he was better than that. If he wanted that victory royale at this point, it was him versus the Holy world. What the f is going on? Holy Let's go! Absolutely bonkers stuff. I am I, I'm losing my mind over this clip. I'm just what did I just witness? If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that sub button. Thank you so much for watching our 15 luckiest Fortnite clutch moments. And check out this other video right here on screen. I don't see you guys over there. This has been Sam from Top 5 Gaming.